Roland Willett to Old Man Stories. And I'm here with Bob Selby, Boxcar Bob Selby. That'd be me. And uh, we've spent a few seconds together. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just talking. Yes. And if anyone would like, they can pri contact us privately, and we will tell them the solution to any world problem. <laughs> yeah, right away. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going at these songs. We have quite a few of them. We got the, the one we're going to do first is is we didn't have the interview, but we have the song and we have the recording. Right. right. So we're going to do right. that one. And it's called Low Down Lawman Blues. Yeah. And uh, I had, you know, one of the things, it's already done, but here we were working on it earlier, and he, I actually added one extra word. I was so impressed with myself. Yeah, you've done good. I did, yep, but we're not even going to listen to that. So <laughs> all that were, uh, was academic. Yes. I should get, I'll get a PhD in that sucker. I'll just <laughs> put myself down and become like Dr. Willits now. <laughs> I wouldn't, okay. I wouldn't, I'd just be thrilled having people call me Dr. Willits. Dr. Willits, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If I call me Snot Willits, I'd feel this is good. <laughs> 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 and the low down, it's low down, <laughs> it's low down lawmen. Blue is a right. lowdown Correct. game, right? And uh, it is about just sort of a grab about a story that that you either created or what, what was it? Well, the situation is, I am a retired police officer from the city of St. Paul. I retired a sergeant out of there in '96, and I kind of wanted to write a song that kind of told the policeman's plight. And what what the uh, what their job entailed, and sometimes the frustration of it. Henceforth, the low down the lawman blues mm -hmm. title, and some of the subject matter in there will explain what I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, you just you just just went right after criminals. And... Yeah, well, you you're right about what you know, you know. <laughs> At least I do. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so whatever, if it's a life experience or a job experience, whatever it happens to be, uh, that's what I write about. So, and sometimes I put words. Sometimes I put music to it, and sometimes they're just words. So. Yeah, you were, some of it was just uh, you just told the story. Yeah, As absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So part of it, part of it was music, and part of it was. Uh, the story, yeah, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it was extremely well done, and I actually listened to it. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> you know, it's, I'm, I was one of those kids in school where they'd slap the back of your head and say, wake up, Roland. Well, <laughs> did they ever do that to you? Uh, no, not for that reason. I think I was cutting up in class oh. and I got slapped in the back of the head for oh, that. Oh, okay. As a matter of fact, we had a shop teacher I mean, Mr. Gruber, and he, um, do you know, you know, familiar with Como Park in St. Paul? Yes. Do you know that, that miniature train that drives mm -hmm. around there? Right. Well, he built that. He owned that. Wow. And, uh, but anyway, I was cutting up in class and he come behind me and picked me up by my neck and sat me on the bench, which was usually the corporal punishment at that time for cutting up. Mm -hmm. So, but, um, yeah, Mr. Gruber. Good man. Good lawman. Good man. Yep. He was he was a he, he was a classroom lawman. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. He was definitely the uh the, the chief in charge there. And he did a good job, didn't he? <laughs> yes he did. So we have him and the rest did did some of the policemen listen to your song? Yeah, uh I've I've gotten copies to, to some of them and uh uh, yeah, they, they have listened to it, man. I haven't got too many comments back, but because I haven't gotten too many out to them, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's pretty befitting. 
Okay. So, okay. So, you're expecting accolades and an a, a Emmy of some kind, I'm sure, from, from the police department. <laughs> <laughs> They'll all be out in dress blues and, and, uh, and, and you know, and as you get this thing. Well, you know, I have one, I have one I don't have with me that uh, my lieutenant, when I was working in the comm center, took to, uh, 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 I don't know what you want to call it, a gathering of, uh, of uh, uh, comp center people out of state, and I entitled it the 911 Wrap. <laughs> and I uh, used, and if my daughter come over and give me a hand with it. She had a little electronic thing that mm -hmm. made noise and stuff like that that I needed, uh, siren noise and stuff. And it was kind of, kind of humorous. But anyway, he took that out there. And, I don't know if I got any accolades, but uh, you got That's a lot, a lot so of humor. Cool. <laughs> you got, you got, you got chuckles. Yeah, absolutely. And chuckles out of police are, are, are as good or better any time than, than than quiet and polite. Well, I tell applauding. you what. Uh, if, if policemen have a sense of humor, believe it or not. I mean, you know, we're not all stern and look at you like that. They do have senses of humor. I thought that was <laughs> cackling. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might say it's kind of a wry, dry sense of humor, but nonetheless, no, I was, I was really joking. I was, <laughs> but, I, but the word came, the word just came out. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So, introduce your song. Give you know, say your name and give the name of your song. Okay, this is Boxcar Bob Selby, and the name of the song is Low Down Lawman Blues. Mm -hmm. 